hi guys hope you're doing well um i've got a new phone so hopefully the quality is a little bit better it looks less grainy so we'll hope <laughs> how are you it's been a while i'm very sorry i have no excuses um yeah i have no excuses i've just hardly picked a hookup all summer um, i've been at work and then we went away uh last week went down to cornwall which was lovely stayed at haven it's our fourth or fifth year going. Still love it. Still loads to do. Excuse this. My son headbutted me on holiday. <laughs> so I've brought a memento home with me. Anyway, um, yeah, I we got back on Saturday. It's now Wednesday. And we had the worst internet connection while we were away. Like the 3G was just pretty much non-existent. So I came home to like a list of videos by various YouTubers um, to catch up on. And I started to watch Kim and she's announced SOS um, September, if you want, which is Sharon Yala. I can never say it right, I'm sorry, September. And I thought that is a brilliant excuse for me to pick up a hook and to get crocheting again. So that's what I've been doing. Um, I will link the Facebook page and I'll link Kim's channel and I will link Sharon's channel um, down below, hopefully soon, because <laughs> you all know what I like for actually um, adding anything to my description box. I'm a little bit lame and I do apologise. But anyway, I'll show you what I have made so far. Um, the first thing isn't quite finished because I didn't realise that I needed a piece of plastic for it when I started it. And then by the time I realised that I needed a piece of plastic for it, we'd already put our recycling out. So I'm currently <laughs> drinking my way through this. So, oh, I hope that doesn't get flagged as advertising. It's not advertising, it's just the nearest plastic bottle I had. Um, yeah, I'm working my way through that so that I can cut that up and use it because I think it should be fine. It should be fine. We'll see. Anyway, so yeah, the first thing I have to show you is the hiding tree. Can you all see it? So as you can see, it's a, it's it's really floppy. Um, she does say that it stands up by itself and that you don't need it. Mine doesn't. Um, it it's a wee bit. Oh, oh, it does. It's showing off now, isn't it? I'm gonna prove you wrong, person that made me. But anyway, anyway, yeah. Um, I really enjoyed it actually, and I loved doing all of the whoop, detail, getting used to the new phone. Can you see? Um. I don't know if you can see it might be a bit dark but yeah so all the like knots and stuff and the branches are so clever and i've put a couple of little leaves on the branches and i like the way that you do the nest and i love even though it was a teeny bit tedious by the end i love the way that this is done because it hides mistakes because it's so fluffy all for that and the fact that there was hardly any sewing because we all know how i feel about sewing if you're new to my channel i don't enjoy it Worst part, if you ask me. I know there are people that find it therapeutic. I don't. <laughs> really don't. Anyway, so yeah, there it is. And it has the hole in the top and it does close. So very, very happy with that. It took me... I started it on Monday and I finished it on Tuesday morning. And I was looking after children on Monday. I had three kids in the house, so take that long because I was on again off again up and down and separating and putting back together and the general looking afterness but anyway yeah so the hiding tree is done and I'm very very happy with it and that was all done in Stylecraft I believe Stylecraft special DK mine's come up quite small because um your Android podcast I'll link my channel down below made one and it looks much bigger but I think that's because they use um Red Heart, which is like worsted weight, and this is DK, so it's going to be smaller anyway. Out of practice. <laughs> Out of breath. <laughs> How pathetic. Sorry. Anyway, so yeah, so I made that, and um, it has little nests in the top. And the idea is that you can make a little owl that will fit in the nests. So I made a little owl, which is also, sorry, I'm just looking at the time, Sharon Oyala, but my pockets. I don't know if it's because the tree doesn't stand, so I can't shove it in, but it's a little it's a little bit big. So I think I will go back and redo 
my little owl with a smaller hook because I think I used a four millimeter and I think if I used a 3.75 it would be fine but it's very cute and also I don't think I'd use a variegated yarn to do it again so this one's probably going to end up on a keychain and will probably fly to work but it's cute and I think if you did it in black it would be a little bat which I might try that as well she's got hundreds of patterns though I'm sure there's a bat pattern up there I'm sure there's several um but I wanted to start off with the hiding tree and do all of the little bits to go with it and then have a look and work my way through some of her other um patterns but yeah so to go with the hiding tree I whoops have dropped <laughs> a little bear can you all see him he looks evil hi I'm the evil bear come on right yeah he looks a little bit evil but he's cute and I like him and then I have made this up two koalas um yeah this one's massive and then this one's not finished but tiny I don't oh. use the same size hook I think I just had better tension doing one than the other but I can't work out which one is the right size I need to fluff and glue you and glue this one but my fabric glue is on my bookshelf in a box covered in other stuff and I can't bother to get it right now it's creaking um yeah the, the other thing is this one's actually upside down <laughs> I put the ears on and then attached the limbs and realized that <laughs> I did it upside down but it's fine it just looks like it's been sat on see its head's a little <laughs> a little bit of squash but actually I know what I think it adds to its character whereas this one just looks really surprised with its massive ears I don't, I don't know what's going on with these practice is what it's going to take I think and once I've got it I'll probably make a gajillion of them because we all know what I like I like a nice easy pattern so yeah um that is it for my SOS so far um I'm hoping to get some more done next week because I am working from tomorrow back to work I've had 10 days off and then I'll go back to work I don't want to I like having the time off it's nice just to chill the kids are back at school as well now so I've actually had two days of being able to sit and crochet and watch a movie and not have anybody ask me for a drink or a snack or a snack or a drink or if they can go outside when they've always been allowed to go outside so I don't know why they suddenly started asking um but yes yeah, so it's, it's going to be nice um to get back to normal um so the only other thing that I've done is what I'm calling my scrap rug because the kids keep kind of sliding across the floor we have laminate I think you can just see there <laughs> Um, if you've watched my Halloween video, you've probably seen the house anyway. Um, I think it was not last Halloween, the Halloween before that I did it. I meant to do it last year, never got around to it. But anyway, uh, yeah, we have laminate. So I am making a rug and it is just out of whatever chunky yarn that I had lying around that I've not used for anything in particular. But I have had to multiple strand it. So it's taking a while. Um, and then what I'm going to do when I finished it is put some felt. Do I mean felt? Whatever it is that stops things from slipping. I'm going to put some of that on the bottom of it. Um, and then the kids have got something a bit more comfortable to sit on rather than just hardwood floors. And hopefully it will stop them sliding around in their socks. Even though I always say, take your socks off. But the kids don't listen, do they? So yeah. Um, oh, I also, <laughs> I made something, but it's... Oh, it's in the other, uh, it's <laughs> basically my bike rack, um, we took the bikes and we went on holiday. The, you know, the rubber bits that go on the metal to stop them damaging your car? We lost one. So I crocheted a sock <laughs> for the bike rack. Um, yeah, that's the only other thing that I've done. But I'm not going to go get that because it is literally duct taped on to the bike rack. Because I tried just using duct tape and then I ended up with silver all over my car and it's like, my car's black. So we're not having that. Um, yeah, so I <laughs> I made a sock for the bike rack. But that is about it. Um, I really haven't 
made anything else, I don't think. If I have, I'd have, you'd have seen it. Uh, so I think, no, I literally just haven't done it. So that is it for this week. Um, I'm going to try really, really, really hard to get back on schedule and bring you a video next week. I did take some footage while we were away, um, just little clips of the kids, basically. Um, so I'm trying to find the energy to put all of that into one video. Um, it was my intention. I even have an intro. <laughs> I just haven't done anything else. Um, yeah, so I'm going to try at some point, maybe tomorrow evening, yeah, because there's no clubs tomorrow. Clubs don't start yet. Woo! Uh, wait for the clubs to start and then I'll just be a quivering wreck in corner. But um, yeah, so I'm going to try and put that all together and hopefully upload that at some point and then you can have a little insight into our holiday. Obviously there's a lot I can't film like going swimming or half of the entertainment and stuff like that. But I've, I've got a few snippets. So um, yeah, that is it for now. And I will see you guys next week. And I apologise for rambling. Also, hi to all my new subscribers. Thank you very much for joining me. And hi to all my old subscribers. Thank you for coming back. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Oh, I missed.